हेलो क्लास इलेवन स्टूडेंट्स होप यू हैव डन पार्ट वन ऑफ पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ लेडी वेरी वेल नाउ लेट्स प्रोसीड टू पार्ट टू लेट्स लुक एट द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ रिलेशनशिप दैट द ऑथर कुशवंत सिंह हैड विथ हिज ग्रैंड मदर when he used to live in the village with his grandmother the author says that his grandmother used to wake him up and get re- make him ready for the school and she accompanied that means she went to school with him and uh, she not only went with him and she carried some chapatis now let's see further what happened my grandmother always went to school with me because the school was attached to a temple so it is an important thing that is telling us about the personality character of the grandmother this shows that she is, was a religious lady her characteristic of the character is described here that she was a religious lady she accompanied she went with his her grandchild to uh, j- uh, to the school as she wanted to spend her time praying in the temple so what they used to do in the class there in the school there uh, the school was not a regular school like our uh, like the school uh, nowadays you people go the priest taught us the alphabet and the morning prayer it was a school that was attached with the temple the teacher in the school was a priest who taught them alphabets and the morning prayer okay so both the religious and the language was to, uh, was taught to the children by the temple priest only while the children sat in rows on either side of the veranda singing the alphabet or the prayer in chorus singing the alphabet or the prayer in chorus now what is prayer in chorus saying something saying reciting some prayer etc in chorus means that all the persons who are who have assembled there are saying that thing together chorus is for that togetherness the same thing is repeated like uh, you uh, repeat the tables etc when you were young you used to repeat certain forms of verbs tables and many more things and you used to say those things in the chorus my grandmother sat inside reading the scriptures now what his grandmother used to do she sat in the temple and she used to read scriptures now what are scriptures scriptures are the religious writings like ramayan mahabharata and all those uh, uh, i mean other uh, religious uh, things uh, the writings the books uh, religious books these are called scriptures when we had both finish when we had both finish we would walk back together so he says that after finishing the school and after the grandmother had finished praying in the temple they both went back together this time they were not alone okay so let's read who were there with them this time the village dogs would meet us at the temple door they followed us to our home growing and fighting with each other for the chapatis we threw to them so on the way back they had dogs that were following them to get the chapatis from them so this was the first phase this was the first phase of relationship between the author kushwan singh and his grandmother in the next paragraphs the second phase of relationship is being described and now let's have a look on the next paragraph so the first phase was in the village and now the second phase is in the city so when my parents were comfortably settled in the city they sent for us now what do you mean by sent for us sent for us is an expression used for calling okay they called for them that was a turning point in our relationship so what is a turning point that turning point is something that changes completely so their relationship completely changed when the author 
came to the city. So it completely changed when they came to city. Although we shared the same room, my grandmother no longer came to the school with me. I used to go to an English school in a motor bus. There were no dogs in the streets and she took the feeding sparrows in the courtyard of our city house. Now the author used to go to the school himself and grandmother could, uh, did not go to the school. So the common relationship that the friendship they used to serve while going to the temple school and coming back the, as uh, author's mother was there and she, she had taken up the responsibility of uh, all the day to day things that of the, uh, I mean like bathing and all those things grandmother used to do in the village for him and all these things were being done by author's grandmother, uh, author's mother now. So grandmother uh, was free from that morning routine and she did not go to school with the author. So that common link was a little bit uh, disturbed and that was the turning point in their relationship that was the turning point in their relationship now how did the grandmother pass her time in the city so as in the city there were no dogs in the street so she took to she took to what does this mean that she start what she started feeding feeding she started feeding to the sparrows so instead of dogs she had started feeding the sparrows where in the courtyard of our city house in the courtyard of their city house so what is courtyard courtyard is the open area in front of the house that is called the courtyard as the years rolled by we saw less of each other for some time she continued to wake me up and get me ready for school when I came back, she would ask me what the teacher had taught in the class. So he said, as the year rolled by. Now this is a very beautiful expression to say that the time has passed. The years rolled by. It is a beautiful expression for verbal English, for spoken English, written English also. That we or uh, that we get. English is something that we get from the textbooks only. And there's abundance of things and expressions that are given in the textbooks. So this is another way of saying the uh, that the time has passed. So they saw less of each other. They used to meet less. And in the beginning when they arrived in the city, grandmother used to bathe him and do other things and uh, I used to ask him uh, what he had done in the class and what was being taught by the teacher in the class and this way uh, grandmother, wa grandmother was always concerned uh, about him and she used to ask these things in the village also so she used to ask these things in the city but when the author told him what he was doing in the school Grandmother was a little disappointed. Let's see why she was disappointed. I would tell her English words. Okay, now the author used to learn some English words there. Okay, and the little things of Western science and learning. What kind of things he used to tell his grandmother? The law of gravity, Archimedes principle, the world being round, etc. So grandmother was not, of, uh, I mean, uh, she did not like uh, the way he was getting, uh, to, uh, he was getting taught in the school. This made her unhappy. The sentence, this made her unhappy, tells us that she was not satisfied with what kind of education was provided to her grandchild. But she did not say anything to uh, um, to the author or to her son she was brave enough she was courageous that she could uh, she could hold all those emotions with her only okay? she never wanted to interfere the bear his uh, her son you uh, was uh, trying to grow groom up his child that is the author Kushwan Singh 
she could not help me with my lessons now here we are going to get the reasons of her unhappiness the first one is she could not help the author in his lesson and the second is she did not believe the things she did not believe the things that were taught in the school this is the second thing and she was distressed that there was no teaching about the god she did not like that in the city school no teaching about the god and the scriptures were given to the students one day i announced one day i announced that we were being given music lessons she was very disturbed now this is an important question here uh we have come across an important question that that uh, is likely to appear in the that is seen quite often in the cbsc examinations why she did not like music okay so he announced that i uh, that we were being given music lessons now she was quite disturbed she was unhappy too hard now these lines are telling us the reasons why she was unhappy why she was unhappy too hard music had lured associations lured association means that music is not a thing that is to be done by some royal families high standard families music is related associated with some lower caste lower strata people and she did not like it and she believed that it was the monopoly music was the monopoly of heralds and beggars and not meant for gentle folk she said nothing but her silence meant disapproval so she did not say anything through words she did not speak anything but she became silent and she rarely talked to me after that so it was the time when she stopped talking to the author and as she did not approve what was being taught in the school to her grandchild and she were really wanted her grandchild to pick up religious uh, learning he she wanted him to learn prayers and uh, scriptures etc so this was the main reason why she did not uh, why their relationship were being snapped so the first we can say that it was uh, her routine was different and then the main thing i mean she could not uh, help uh, him in his lessons and then music is another thing that she did not like that was being told to the author that was being taught to the author click on the links for the further learning material let's move further and see what's next in our story for us it's quite an interesting story auto although it is a uh, biographical in nature the story is biographical in nature but somewhere we feel that this story is uh, uh, quite close to us most of us uh, do have the same kind of uh, scenario nowadays in our house in our environment also where grandmothers want to spend time with grandchildren and they are helpless as they cannot help them in studies they cannot uh, drop them and uh, receive them to school and the things have completely changed so we are uh, we can associate this story with us so let's see and i mean two phases we have already see the first phase was in the village and the second phase was in the city so now let's see what happens further in the pass in the story when i went to university i was given a room of my own my the common link of friendship was snapped now what do you mean by snapped snap means broken that the common because earlier they were using one room and while coming to the room going back from the room whenever he he used to visit his room come back from school or go to school i um, mean they were really uh, meeting each other at least seeing each other but now the author was given a room of his own and the common link between the friendship was snapped my grandmother accepted her seclusion with 
resignation so it is also again an important explanatory question that uh, we may get in the examination kindly uh, listen to care listen carefully about this accepted her seclusion now what is seclusion uh, that uh, she accepted that she was being uh, separated she was being uh, i mean left alone she accepted her loneliness here okay so we can say she accepted her loneliness with resignation okay she resigned that i cannot do anything now let me resign whatever they want to do let them do she rarely left her spinning okay now when someone uh, thinks have stopped thinking from one side you no know, a person at whatever age he or she is needs to have some kind of motive to spend the life so what she took she took to the spinning wheel here she thought that uh, she rarely left the spinning wheel that means all the time most of the time all time all the time that she was awake she used to spin the wheel and she rarely talked she rarely talked to anyone she has stopped talking she seldom talked she seldom talked to her the family members also from sunrise to sunset she sat by her wheel spinning and reciting prayer now these were the two things she used to do spinning and reciting prayer when she used to live in the city only in the afternoon she relaxed for a while to feed the sparrows okay she said that only in the afternoon she relaxed for a while to feed the sparrows okay a uh, while she sat in the veranda breaking the bread into little bits okay she used to feed the sparrows with the bread and she while she was sitting in the veranda and preparing the food item that she used to give to the sparrows she was breaking the bread into little bits hundreds of spar little birds collected round her creating a vertebral bedlam of chirping now this expression vertebral bedlam of chirping imagine when hundreds of sparrows have gathered together and they are chirping that means their sound will be low or it will be quite high quite high so with that i mean when uh, like children sing in chorus and the voice is quite loud in the same way when the sparrows started chirping and uh, they uh, hundreds of sparrows chirped together the sound was quite how high and it seemed as if some kind of band is being played some came and perched on her legs so here we uh, get the things what the sparrows you used to do uh, at the time when grandmother used to feed them that was the most uh, happy i mean the most happy uh, time when she that she spent with the sparrows some came now this some is used for the birds this some is used for the birds that means some birds came and spent some time uh, i mean perched on her legs so perch means sit like from flying and sitting on her legs others on her shoulder some even sat on her hand she smiled but never shooed them away now this expression what do you mean by shoo them away imagine you i mean the a bird is uh, sitting on your hand and how would you feel at that time okay you definitely would like to send that bird away and in that that is called that is called showing away okay that's uh, just uh, try to uh, make them fly away so but the grandmother did not do all these things she smiled and never shoot them away i used to that it used to be the happiest half an hour of her uh, half an hour of the day for her so this feeding of the sparrow was the happiest of happiest hour of the day so feeding the sparrows was the happiest time for the grandmother keep reading rereading note making and summarizing this would surely help you to understand better 
you are the hero of this teaching learning process and only you can make learning english to english happen have patience keep working with me and watch the content i upload if you like hit the bell do leave a comment and share how my videos help you share with your friends and other students and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your comments are always welcome and i would surely like to amend my videos